Hello everyone, welcome to Creative Now channel. In this video, I'd like to share on how to use a passcode to protect your Google Sheets project. Before I begin, there's something to note on. This function works when you have a app script project bounded to your Google Sheets and you have the app script to automate your Google Sheets. And if you don't have any app script to automate your Google Sheets and you just need a function to protect your Google Sheets template, then this might not work well. This is because if you don't have any app script to run on, those people who know about app script are able to delete the whole passcode functions and it will not be working as normal to protect your Google Sheets. So let's get started. You can go to protect.creativenow.com this web page to understand more about step by step on how to implement a passcode protection system in your Google Sheets project. Upon reaching this web page, you can click on the Learn Basic Level Free, and they will have a step by step guide to guide you on implementing your own passcode protection system in your Google Sheets. In today's video, I will go through with you to implement this function as well. If you are asking why should we use this protection system, so basically Google Sheets have, has an disadvantage compared to Excel. In Excel, you can use a passcode protection system to protect your micro, your visual basic or even your Excel sheets. But in Google Sheets, there's no function or features that helps you in this area. So we are going to use this customized app script to implement it to protect your Google Sheet passcode. And as I mentioned previously, if you don't have any app script to automate your Google Sheets and you are trying to find a solution to protect your Google Sheets template without any automation, then this function might not work. This is because those who know app script could remove your protection system and make it the protection system no longer works. So let's get started on the step by step on implementing this passcode protection system. So in your Google Drive, let's create a new Google Sheets. After that, you can customize the sheet and make whatever changes you want. After complete, go to extension and click on app scripts. So in the previous link, there's under step 3, there's a link for you to click on. Click on it and it will bring you to a app script which has the source code for this protection system. So let's just copy it and paste it inside your app script. After pasting it, you can continue to work on your function under the source code for passcode protection system. So you can make whatever function you like to automate your Google Sheets. And now I would like to explain a bit about this source code. So firstly, you can see that there's three main function on the source code. The first one would be request function or request FUNC. The second one would be check REQ. And the third one would be on open and on edit. So for the first request function, this function is used to check whether if user input the passcode for this particular Google Sheets. And if it's not input, then 
the function this program will place a pop-up box asking user to input the correct passcode and inside this function the main one would be the DIS variable here so this DIS variable will be the one to set your passcode and if you are looking to set a fixed passcode then you can input like this so whenever this the pop-up box asking user to input passcode they'll input ABC to pass it and this type of fixed passcode will not be very good because it is vulnerable and after user activates it it will no longer uh, able to control whether user can make a copy out of this Google Sheets so I'll suggest you I'll suggest you to put the variable passcode which means that the passcode is based on that particular Google Sheets and each Google Sheets will have a different passcode and this will help you to protect your Google Sheets to prevent users from making a copy and selling your Google Sheets project out so in this particular example this program or I should say this function is using Google Sheets ID first six character as the passcode so what is Google Sheets ID so Google Sheets ID is the one with you can check your Google Sheet ID in your URL so the one with the D slash the one after D slash will be your ID up until slash edit so you can see that this particular Google Sheets ID is 1YS54BX and so on and ending with CKU so each Google Sheet will have different IDs so whenever user make a copy out of it you will have a new Google Sheets ID for that copy so back to the program this program allows user to set the password using the Google Sheets ID first six character so for this example uh, the passcode for this Google Sheet will be 1YS54 B this would be the passcode for this particular Google Sheets okay and then next I'd like to explain about the check REQ so this check REQ functions helps user to prevent make a copy this is because whenever use after user activate the Google Sheets with the correct passcode they can make a copy out of it so whenever they make a copy out of it this function will check whether if the input passcode matches the Google Sheets ID and if it's not then this function will begin effectively and reset the input passcode asking user to input the passcode correct passcode again in the copy of the spreadsheet and following by the on open and on edit functions this function allow when whenever user uh, try to open this spreadsheet or whenever user try to edit this spreadsheet the function will run and make sure that the passcode is correct before user are able to proceed if the passcode is wrong then they'll, the Google Sheets will keep popping out the box asking user to input their passcode remember to change the your company name link to contact you and link to get the passcode license to whatever wordings that you you like so after you change it will reflect back on the pop-up box whenever user input the wrong passcode I'll show this to you later so after you develop your own functions make sure to include this request function inside each each function that you have so for example if your function 
I'm inputting my custom function here. Just before you run your function, this allows this um, program to run each time when users run your function. So if you want to set a better passcode, then you can from the DIS there, this variable, you can set uh, whatever you like. For example, you can take the ID of this Google Sheets and, and encrypt it with your own solutions and get part of the alphabet to be the password. So this increase your level of security. After you done all this stuff and making your function workable, make sure to backup it because in the next step, we are going to obfuscate your code to make sure that they won't be easily remove your passcode functions. So backup it at other places like other Google Docs or inside inside a, a, a secure place. To obfuscate your passcode, go to this web page. Obfuscator.io. So inside this web page, paste your JavaScripts. So after pasting, click on the obfuscate and you'll get a bunch of aliens wordings. This help to confuse those who wanted to remove your passcode function out of your app script projects. And don't get me wrong, this only allows you to confuse those users and obfuscate you can remove engineering it if you have the knowledge. So it's not a 100% foolproof solution. So after doing this, press on save and you'll get your passcode function available. So let's refresh this spreadsheet. And it may take a while to run. And if the pop-up box is not coming up, you can just simply edit uh, one of the cell and it will start to run the functions. So as you can see, the passcode pop-up box has been appeared. So for this example, the password is the six first six alphabet of this Google Sheets ID. So we just input the Google Sheets ID and click on yes. Make sure that this pop-up box stating passcode is verified appeared. If it's not, refresh your Google Sheets or simply edit another cell and key in the correct passcode to activate it. So after activation, user can use the Google Sheets uh, like usual. And let's test out the make a copy functions. So if user make a copy out of this activated Google Sheets, the function should be popping up due to this is a different Google Sheets. So let's try to edit a few things on this newly copied sheet. Yeah, so you can see that this passcode protection system is working well. So if user put in the wrong passcode, the details that you have replaced under your company name, link to contact you and uh, link to get the passcode or license would appear here. So that's all for this tutorial. If you are looking for service to help you implement this passcode protection system with better passcode protection system or higher level of security, we do offer this 
service so you can go to the protect.creativenow.com inside there we have different level of passcode protection system with different functions to implement in your projects if you are interested feel free to contact us you can also purchase our services at shop.creativenow.com under Google Sheet Passcode Protection System. So that's all for this episode. We'll see you on the next episode.